Welcome to this value med presentation where we're going to run you through what comes in an easy life triple meter. This one is the glucose, cholesterol and uric acid multifunction monitoring system. That means you have the ability to test with individual test strips for blood sugar, blood cholesterol, that's total cholesterol and blood uric acid. So let's open up this box and show you what's included and what you'll get. So here we have the contents of that box. First thing on the outer side, not included in the pouch, is your user manual. This is a very well written, full, easy English instruction. It gives you loads of information in there, but you're probably not going to read through all of it until you want to start testing. Also included are three strip test advice or instructions for use in there. Okay. Also, obviously, the digital meter, two batteries, these are AAA a reset code chip, lancets, a spring-loaded Easy Life lancet device, which is one of the better ones on the market with variable depth settings, and you get three starter packs of test strips. Now, if you're interested in testing for uric acid in blood, you get 10 starter test strips and a code chip included in the starter vial. Same again for blood sugar or glucose, 10 Easy Life glucose test strips and a code chip for those and for the cholesterol I'm afraid you only get two test strips in the starter pack but again with a code chip. So that is the contents fully explained in the GCU starter. In the next stage we'll show you how to set the meter up and in the final step how to do your first test. We're now going to set this meter up with its time and date. So Flip the meter over, slide the battery port open and put your first battery in. It's got clear instructions in terms of the alignment for the batteries. You'll hear it beep when the second one goes in and if you reverse it, you'll see the year flashing. Now to change the year up, hit the S button. 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. When you've got the correct setting, press the M button. The next flashing indicator here is for the month. So we're going to set that for the month we're making this video, which is November. So we'll go to 11 and then we're going to set the M button again and the day is flashing. So the day that we're making this video, we're going to say it's the 21st of November. And when you're happy with the date, hit the M button. Now the next one flashing is the hour. So we're going to go up to the correct time and you'll see it jumps to PM from AM. So we're going 3 PM and we're going to hit the minutes to 315. And when you've got the correct time, hit the M button. Okay. Now You'll see it's reverted back to the first setting and you can work your way around it. If you are too slow from putting the batteries in and it's completely switched off, just open the battery compartment again and remove one of those batteries. After about 10 seconds, if no activity is detected, the meter display will turn off to save power. And then you're absolutely set, ready to do your first test. Now this video is going to show you how to do a test using the Easy Life GCU meter. We're going to set you going as if this is the very first test that you've run on this meter using this batch of test strips. So a couple of prep things to do first. One on your lancing device. You'll see that the end rotates and in the window you'll see numbers coming up from one to six. Six is the deepest lance, which means it will go into your skin the deepest. One is the most superficial. Now, depending on the test that you're doing and how easily or otherwise you bleed, you need to find the right depth setting and to start with I would go for a medium three. Rotate and pull the lancing device apart and then insert one of the lancets. To do this you push this firmly down in and then with a rotating action remove the cover from the lancet. The sterile tip is now exposed. Reconnect the lancing device, rotate it and lock it and then to trigger it you pull back on the end of the lancing device and the release mechanism is this trigger in the center. If I just do that for you now, you'll hear that trigger. 
it's not been used obviously and you can reset that just by pulling so with that you are ready to do your finger lance but before that you need to open your test strips and remove the code chip that comes with that batch of test strips now this goes into the port on the rear of the GCU meter here that goes in and now it will be turned on by the insertion of one of these test strips so here we go this is the end that goes into the meter and by inserting it you should see the meter start to come to life there we go and now you'll see the flashing drop indicator asking for you to apply the drop of blood now this doesn't go on the end or the top it goes in the side port the opening that absorbs the blood from your finger is on the side of the test strip so let's do the lance here we go apply the lancing device firmly against the pulp of your finger and release the trigger and you should get a drop of blood forming this you now present to the side of the test strip you'll see it run through and as soon as sufficient blood has been absorbed onto the test strip the countdown starts and there is my blood sugar in milligrams per deciliter 94 if you want this displayed in millimoles per liter you can alter it using this switch just with a pen or a pair of scissors just flip it from its current setting over to the alternate setting and this will then allow you to display in whichever of the international levels you choose to test in and it's that simple